What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles, the YouTube channel. This is Madison Lee Cup Top 8. And oh my goodness, what a crazy way to start off. We have a Force of Giant Plans to Situi, a Dark Trucks to Situi Turn 1. And guys, as you can tell, it's me, Josh Marking, uh, playing a Decidui Vile Flume deck versus Caleb Howard playing his Mega Mewtwo Guard Boater deck. And we're going to see what's going to happen, guys. Can we take down and make it a top 4? Once again, with our Decidui Vile Flume deck, back to back top 8. Fantastic feeling. We're feeling good. Um, I think we went undefeated that day, uh, which is always nice. But there's Tabe popping up right there. But we'll see an Ultra Ball grabbing an Oddish. And uh, we're going to see how does this game play out, guys. Should be a fun and exciting times. And uh, top eight, then we'll have a top four, and then the final. So we are coming close to an end, guys. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you appreciate these videos. But next week, we'll jump back into PTCGO videos. And uh, Oddish will come down. We see uh, Seamus setting up for five new cards. A Vileplume, Dartrex. Oh, okay. All right. So we probably have to sick more here. Uh, going to sick more. Discard a bunch of stuff. But we do have a Vitalizers, which we see right there. Uh, all right. So we have a Trainer's Melt. Look at top four cards of our deck. There's a Flowstone Gloom. Oh, we need that Gloom. But we are going to grab it in for next turn. We must not have a supporter card in our hand. And looks like we are going to Ultra Ball, discarding a Lysander and a Trainer's Melt. Witch King Gavers and Gloom. Uh, we can have a uh, we have a Rallet in hand, and we'll be able to revitalize her, get out a Vileplume, uh, Dartrex, or not Dartrex, a Decidual. Yes, a Dartrex. There we go. Uh, so Vileplume and Dartrex having a phenomenal turn one, and uh, Feather to the active for 20 and a pass on to Caleb's turn. So now my opponent can't put down Flowstones unless he hacks. Um, he has a Slack and he's active. He can Shadow Shot for 30, and uh, gonna put up Parallel City. Uh, gonna discard a force of giant plants make it do less damage and we'll see a shadow shot for 30 So on to my turn gonna put a DC to that advantage Dark Trex and an end give both players new hands of sex Now we could have not done anything and just like passed and, like feather to the active But our opponent would be doing more damage to us So we need to draw more cards like a second decidui get that out and uh, do we find one or not we find a force of giant plants uh, but nope, we're going to feather the active and pass on a Caleb's turn. Let's see what Caleb does here. He does have a Mega Mewtwo, Psychic Energy active, and he does play Wobbuffet. So we'll see a Wobbuffet come down. And this is where the game will change and uh, make this matchup really hard for us. So Wobbuffet will come up to the act spot. Flowstone to the Shrubbish, and we are in trouble, guys. Oh, man. We'll see an Ultra Ball from Caleb discarding a Mega Mewtwo and a Mega Turbo. Now with this, he could still grab a Hoopa, use Scoundering search for three new EX Pokemon. But we are in trouble, guys. Uh, and a Garboder will come down, and now we're in trouble. And there's a uh, an N. All right, so uh, both of us will get new hands of sex. So, yep. That um that N for Caleb was amazing. He found a Wobbuffet, a Psychic Energy, Ultra Ball for Garboder, and now he is looking good to go. He's got a uh, Spirit Lick set of Mewtwo, DC to the Mewtwo. Oh no, guys, I didn't catch this, but Caleb already attached a Psychic Energy to active. It retreated. Oh man, I wonder how. Oh man, I did not catch this in real time. Oh no, okay, so. No, I've been bamboozled. <laughs> but we'll see a Grass Energy to the active. I don't know how much this is going to matter. We'll see a Decidueye coming down. We'll see a Train as well. Look at top four cards of our deck. And I mean, we're in trouble already. Our opponents got down a Flowstone, uh, got down a Wobbuffet. I mean, I think that was a, like, Honest, like an honest, honest mistake, actually. Um, wow. Yeah, I mean, in, in real time, that was a very long turn for Caleb. Um, but yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I, yeah, he dashed a dark a psychic energy, and I just forgot about that. But we'll see a grass energy active. We'll see it end. Both players will get new hands of sex. All right, but this is still not a good situation for us. There's a guard border with the flowstone. So now our irritating pollen for Valpum is shut down. Feather from Decidueye is shut down. And all we can really do is just uh, Rage Leaf for a 90. Now, let's see. We do find a flowstone for that Valplum. Okay. And we'll see our good old Rage Leaf for 90. Woo! All right. But on a Caleb's turn, does he find... Oh, a 70 because of Parallel City. I forgot about that. On the turn, uh, we see an Ultra Ball. Uh, 36, 9, 12, 15. Okay, Ultra Ball discarding a. Ooh, let's see. I mean, he doesn't have any supporter cards in hand. This card's a Shaman. And. I mean, his hand's kind of bad. Maybe another Shaman. Yeah, we'll discard two Shamans. This will probably grab a Mega Mewtwo. Okay. And. Yeah, we'll see Mega Mewtwo come down. We'll be able to Rage Leaf the Mewtwo for a knockout. 
but then that Mewtwo will be able to Psychic Gear. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. It doesn't take a knockout right now, but uh, he does have a Psychic Energy in hand, I think, and a Mega Turbo, um, and a DCE. So, yeah, his hand is just full of everything. There's a Mega Turbo to the Mewtwo. Okay, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Uh, DC Retreat, and we'll see a Psychic Infinity for 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 160, put us to 190. Uh, 36, 9, 12, 15. Oh, no, 190 plus 30, so 210 is how much we're at. So, 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Wait, was that right? 36, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, 220. So, uh, flow zone to the active. We will see a Rally come down. And, uh, Ultra Ball discarding a Gloom and a Love Ball. This could just grab a Pokemon and then a deck down, like somebody we don't need, maybe. Um,. Maybe like an Oddish or a Gloom or Vile Plume or something like that. We can discard those. But, I mean, we are still in trouble. Like, we're in big trouble here. So, Vile Plume will come down for us. Okay. All right. And let's see what Caleb does. I mean, we'll probably just Sycamore, discard our hand, and draw 70 cards. And uh, let's find out. Let's get ready to rumble. We'll see a retreat into probably the Rallet and a hard pass onto Caleb. All right. So, Caleb will draw a card. He finds a training spell. Look at top four cards of his deck. Finds a Sycamore, so he will be able to play a Sporter card this turn, and he will knock out our Rallet, unfortunately. Alright, so Caleb will find a Mega Mewtwo. I mean, not Mega Mewtwo, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. A Sycamore going into his hand, okay. And we'll see. Probably a Sycamore. Discard his hand, draw 70 cards. He does have a Psychic Energy. Um, but no, go to Sycamore, discard his hand, draw 70 cards. Finds a Lysander, Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo, uh, Shrine of Memories. Oh, that's a Hoopa, sorry. Mewtwo, Hoopa, Shrine of Memories, Train as well, Lysander, something else. Okay. So, we'll see a Mewtwo come down. We'll see a Spear Link go into it as well. And let's see what else does Caleb do here. Going to Psyche Infinity for the knockout. And we'll put the Decidueye with the Flow Stones on our card. Turn it will draw a card. Put down Beedrill. Lysander up that Garboder. Put a DC on that Beedrill. Retreat. And we will double Scrapper, getting rid of the Flowstone off the active and the Spear Link on that Mega Mewtwo and putting our opponent in a weird situation for sure because now they can't use their abilities. Um, and uh, that was an amazing play there. We got the Beedrill, the Lysander, and we are looking good to go right now. Caleb is back to not playing any of his trainer cards. We will have some Feather Arrows going on right now. And um, guys, we're going to see what happens here. So, we see Caleb does have a, a life center hand. He's got some other stuff. Um, yeah, what does he do? He can play Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. And I think that's what he's going to do here. Just try to find something for later on. Okay, yep. Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He does find a DC. All right, so Psychic Energy active. Um, and we'll see a pass on to our turn. All right, so let's see. What do we decide to do here? Do we go for... Uh, let's see. So, 40 set up itch, while well, taking a knockout, okay. And let's see here, do we just... Uh, do we just pass with the Beatles in the Axe spot? Uh, we could do that. Um, we'll see some double scrap here with the, the, the thing off the active. And let's see what Caleb decides to do here. Um, <clears throat> he can put a DC in the active and retreat. Maybe what I should have done, uh, theoretically, is like... Retreat it to a Decidueye, use our GX attack, and uh, grab like a Lysander, Lysander, and like a Grass Energy or something. That would be actually really cool to do, um, because we know Caleb does have a DC in hand. So right now he can retreat and Psych Infinity. Okay. He wants to go that way. We'll see Caleb looking at my discard pile, see what's all in there. I think, yeah, I think I definitely should have like Decidueye that turn. So see, DC attack to retreat to Garboder. And we will see a Psychic Infinity do 160 damage. Now, that Beedrill is knocked out. We don't catch this immediately. Uh, me and Caleb both thought that, you know, he had 170 HP. He's good to go. We'll see Double Feather to the active. Um, all right. And let's see what Caleb does here. It does get kept, guys. Do not worry. This does get caught. Um, never fear. Never fear. This does get caught. So we're going to see. Uh, just give us one second, guys. It will change here. Uh, Psychic Energy to Mewtwo. Uh, maybe not. Going to look through his discard pile. See what's all in there. And uh, don't worry. It's going to be caught here in a second. Psychic Energy active. We will see. Um, <clears throat> I think right now is when we're catching it, maybe. Um, you're going to see both of us realize you see, like, oh, yep, that's, that's, uh, I think it's a knockout right now is what we're talking about. 
And all he's done really is attach his like energy active, so we should be good to go. I mean, this is very reversible. All he did was double feather the active. We could reverse that. Uh, put the psychic back into his hand. Um, he will have to shuffle one card at random, put back into his deck, I'm pretty sure, because he drew a card. Um, <laughs> you can see right here we're trying to discuss putting the card back. Like, all this is reversible, so this is a very easy fix. Because the, the beater got knocked out, didn't do too much for my side of the field. We'll see him... Um, Shuffle Caleb's hand, probably put a card on top of his deck because we don't know what, what's on top of it. We don't know what he drew into, and it's a very fixable game state. It's not too bad. Uh, both of us didn't catch that um, that Beedra has 160 HP, but shout out to the Shrink that did catch that, and that was a very good catch for sure. But we'll see what happens. Yes, you can see the shuffling, put a card on top of the deck. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, so you're gonna put a card on top of his deck. Caleb will then take a knockout, and then I will put a card on top of him. My deck? Oh no, what I do here is just don't draw a card because essentially I'm gonna have the same hand, so I'm just not gonna draw a card, and that's the same like I just don't draw a card, I'll have the same hand state no matter what. Um Yeah, I think that's what we're talking about right now. Alright, so you see we're talking about like how everything playing out. Yeah, but let's see. Alright, so in my turn we're gonna send the vile plume, Beedra gets knocked out, kill goes down to three three price cards, and we're good to go. It is fixed now. Alright, so we're good. And on my turn, um yeah, so now on to my turn, we could do a bunch of different stuff now. Alright, so get a high five. There we go, we fixed. Alright, we're good. We're good, guys. Don't worry. Uh, mistakes do happen so dies Pokemon. I mean, that was actually the second mistake of this game. But Taurus will come down instead, okay? And uh, we'll see you have N shuffle both players down to low hand size. We get five. He gets three. Okay. And uh, we'll see what happens. What's going to happen here? We need to find... A grass energy for that bench to Sidewai, and you. I think we need to go for a, a hollow hunt this turn to get back Lysanders. All right, so we get some cards back in our hand. We don't find a grass energy. Uh, we'll see 40 damage to the active, bring it up to 80. We'll send a Tauros and a pass onto Caleb's turn. Now, let's see what Caleb does do here. He does have a one fit hand, a spirit link, and uh, <clears throat> this can be very bad for us because what Caleb could do is retreat the Mega Mewtwo to Wobbuffet, put a Spear Link on that Garboder, shutting down our abilities once again. And I don't think we have any more um, Lysanders left on deck, but I'll see what Caleb decides to do here. Does he wait to find a Floatstone for that Garboder? We see a Wobbuffet will come down, okay. We'll see probably retreat into the Wobbuffet, shutting down our abilities. So that end was fantastic for Caleb. And we'll see a Spear Link to that bench uh, Mewtwo EX. And I'll probably see via Secret for a second more. Discard his hand, draw seven new cards. And let's see, what does he find with the seven? He does find a Floatstone, putting on that Garboder, and now we are in trouble for sure. Oh no. But either way, if we ever would have Lysander of that Garboder to try to get stuck in the Axe Spot forever, Caleb would have eventually found a way to retreat it because he did have a DC left, he had a Mega Mewtwo left, or another Psychic Energy left. Um, so yeah, we would be in trouble regardless. We'll see a Mega Turbo, I think is what we're seeing right now. Um, maybe it already happened, I just missed it. He's already put a Psychic Energy to... Did he already... No, he hasn't attached yet. I'm pretty sure he hasn't. Um, yeah, so he's fine putting a Psychic Energy to Active Wild Fit. He wants to get up in the Active Wild Fit. And a pass on the right turn. Now we're back to square one. We had the cool Lysander knock out both tools, Garboder, knock out Wobbuffet, but then my opponent was able to find a DC, retreat the Wob. Oh my, it was just a crazy, like, this is a crazy game, guys. Uh, trainers will look at top cards of my deck, and now we are in trouble. How do we deal with this Mega Mewtwo? And as, uh, what, 80 damage on it? We have to three shot, essentially. We'll see. Caleb looked at our discard pile, see what he wants to do here, and uh, yeah, we're we're in trouble now. We are definitely in trouble for sure. So Caleb can put a Psychic Energy active and start using Psychic Assault, which is kind of funny, uh, but it does work for sure, so Psychic Energy active. And it's like Soul for 10. Alright, so my turn, I'm going to draw a card, and let's see, what do we find? Uh, find a Love Ball, which can not get us anything, and we see right there, I scooped the game. Can't really do too much, and you see I do have two uh, Grass Energies and a D DC in our deck, er, in our prize cards. Um, so there's really no way I was talking after the Sigil I was knocked out. Had three energies prized out of our uh, out of our eight, which is very unfortunate. And on the game number two, I mean, you gotta think this is just a terrible matchup for me. Uh, Caleb has Garboder, he has a uh, Wobbuffet as well. We had a turn one to Valplume plus 
uh, Decidueye and Caleb was still was still able to win this game. Uh, thanks to playing two Wobbuffet, which insane, which is insane. Um, but it's it's done it's done well for him so far. Obviously, he's in top eight. He is now 1-0 against me and uh, on a game number two, guys. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, there's no mistakes this game. All right. So, but players are going to shuffle up, and guys, I want to give a shout out to TNLG. They are the one who provided this stream and uh, provided for all six rounds, top eight, top four, and the finals. Without them, the finals and top four would not have been re recorded because um, we'll go over that here in a second, actually. All right, so both players gonna going to shuffle up here and get some cards out, and let's see what's going to happen in game number two. Uh, all right, so we see Caleb start with the Shaman in my turn. Uh, I think we don't have anything. Yep. Gonna have a mulligan. Caleb will be able to get additional card um, because we didn't find a Pokemon. <clears throat> All right, so let's see, guys. Uh, just gonna shuffle up. It can we find a turn with Valplume again? A uh, Valplume Decidueye turn one is what we did game one. It is very, very doable. Doable. We do it a lot of times. Uh, can we continue the streak of getting the Valplume on ASAP? And let's see what happens on a game number two, guys. We're gonna get seven new cards coming out onto the field. And what is going to happen? Uh, we find a okay. I'm not sure what that was, but uh, my hand was full of Pokemon. That's all I know. So here's the handshake on the game number two. We both start shaming EX. All right. So we get a low ball. We can search the deck for a uh, Relic, an Oddish, whatever we want to. We're good to go. We do have a DC. We can put it on the active and Sky Return next turn if we go that route. I mean, I don't think your hand is that great actually right now. Um, from the looks of it, it, I saw a bunch of Pokemon, and that's essentially all I saw there. Um, but gonna look at my deck, see what's all there. Gonna grab an Oddish, okay. An Oddish will come down on to the field. Um, now, if I had a turn with Volplume, it would not be very good to get right now because I don't have an attacker. We'll see a DCT active. And a pass on Caleb's turn. And Caleb, you know, he's going to be so excited. Game number one, we had a turn with Volplume. And we're, you know, just, just shutting him down. But this game, he's free to use any item cards he wants. As you see, we have uh, two Glooms, a Dark Strikes, and a Volplume, and a Revitalizer in our hand. So, guys, gosh, it's, it's not looking good right now. We are in trouble. Uh, you can see me kind of flash my hand there. I'm like, oh, man, this is, this is really bad. <laughs> like, just showing the camera how bad my hand is. Like, it's. It's terrible. It's, it's pretty bad. But we'll see the Ultra Ball grabbing a Trubbish. Uh, see an Ultra Ball discarding a, a Mega Turbo and a Mega Mewtwo. Okay. I'm gonna grab a Hoopa most likely. He could grab Hoopa here. Scoundering search for three new EX Pokemon. He could just go for Mega Mewtwo, which we do see him do. Okay. And uh, what else will Caleb do here? I think he does have an end in hand. Will he play it? And he is gonna end. Give us both new hands of six. Alrighty. We are saved. We don't have all those Pokemon in our hand anymore. We're good to go. We're going to get a new hand of six. And hopefully, we draw into the best six cards ever in our life. Now, we're still in very big trouble because if Caleb finds a Flustone, he can put down on his Trubbish and uh, finds a DCE Spear Link. But no Flustone just yet. He does have an Ultra Ball, a DC in hand. Going to put a DC on the Shaman. The Sky Return is not that bad of an idea for sure. Uh, so you trade as well. Look at top cards of his deck. And no... Uh, He's got a, he could like grab a VF Seeker or Sycamore and then Ultra Ball discard two cards from his hand to grab a Shaman to help set up if there is another one in there. If he wants to go that way, um, nope, just gonna Sky Return for 30. On a Caleb's, we're gonna promote that Mewtwo EX. So on my turn, let's see what we get out for some giant plants, Gloom, uh, and a Sycamore discarding two Decidueyes and a Dartrex. Now we could. Have saved the Sid's wise and like passed or something, but we would have been in a very big trouble. Uh, we see Old Ball just kind of gloom and an end. Okay. Uh, we could grab Valpum right now, right? We can grab Valpum right now, shut down items, but that is not a good thing to do right now. If you go for that, we don't have any Sid's wise down. There's two in our discard pile. It would need to find our revitalized, get those guys back from the discard pile back into our hand or out of the discard pile back into our hand. So let's say we are going to Ultra Ball for Shaman, um, but we need to hit up, like we already have four cards in our hand, three cards in hands, and this has to be like the craziest Shaman draw ever, like ever, like double Revitalizer, I don't even know like if it's possible. And you see we do have a Volume in hand, but there's no way we put down a Volume. So we see Ultra Ball discarding a Decidueye and a Sycamore. I don't know why I discarded those two. I should have probably discarded the Vile Plume instead. Because now we need to find, like, there's three Decidueyes in the discard pile. 
Oh no, that's really bad. That's really bad. All right, so we'll see Shaman set up for five new cards. Can we find some revitalizers? If we do, we'll potentially get off a Darch, a Decidueye. Uh, we see Vile Plume, and no, oh, I right, see, see a uh, Love Ball for a Dartrex, okay. But no revitalizer. Oh no, okay. So we'll see a uh, Dartrex will come down to it, a Rallet, okay. And, um, we got a Lugia in hand. We could Sky turn to Lugia, but then Lugia might get smacked. Uh, so Dodge will come down. DC, wait, do we already? No. Uh, I think we tasked turn one. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, oh, Valpum will come down to Sky turn. Oh, I don't know if I like that Valpum play. Oh, no. Like, yeah, we get that Valpum. Whoop, whoop. Like, yay, that's good. But, like, we are in trouble. We'll see Hoopa. You scoundering search for three new EX Pokemon. I think my plan was a deep hurricane next turn to knock out this Mewtwo and put my opponent in a bad situation. But he did have a Hoopa in hand. And if he didn't have the Hoopa, we might be okay here. But he is going to Hoopa find a Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo. And uh, he'll be able to Psychic Painted for 3, 6, 9, 12. And that's not what we wanted to see. We definitely like was hoping he didn't have a Mega. We could use deep hurricane to knock out that Me the Mewtwo EX. Do it 150 plus 30s, 180. And that would be really cool to see. But we have three Decidueyes in our discard pile. Oh no, we are in trouble. So let's we'll see Sigma from Caleb. Discard his hand, drawn seven new cards. And what does he find here? I mean, I don't think he has anything really. Yeah, so that's, that's some cards in his hand for sure. That's about it. So we'll see a Psychic Finny for 3, 6, 9, 12, doing 130 damage. On a Mike, we find a Grass Energy. We can put that on a. Okay, gonna put a DC on the active actually. Uh, Shame is setting up for some more cards, and I do not find an Decidueye. Oh no, oh no, guys, we are in trouble. We will be able to use Deep Hurricane for 150, uh, bringing that Mewtwo up to 180, and then there's nothing we could do. I mean, we're gonna stick more discard two Grass Energies. Do we find a Decidueye? Uh, yes, we do find a Decidueye, which is fantastic. So now we can Feather onto the active and Deep Hurricane for 150, put that Mewtwo up to 200 damage, and next turn. We can use a Feather Arrow to knock out that Mewtwo EX. Alright, so we're, we're still in it somehow. So DC to that Mewtwo, okay. Uh, Caleb does have a Lysander. He could maybe Lysander this turn if he wants to. But I think you definitely knock out the Lugia. It is really scary right now. Like, why would you not do this? You can see he's like, man, but if I knock out this Lugia... I mean, no matter what, that Mewtwo's getting knocked out. So, the situation right, will come up. But can we find a Grass Energy? We do have one. Put on the active. We'll see a uh, Feather Arrow to the active. Taking a knockout. And we'll probably just use Hollow Hunt GX. Uh, Rallet will come down, okay. Now with this Hollow Hunt, what do we grab here? Probably two Decidueyes, most likely that. Lysander, bring up that Trubbish. And we'll see a Hollow Hunt GX. All right, this will probably get like a double Decidueye and maybe a Lysander. That's not, okay, maybe a DCE. That looks like it's going to my hand, okay. A lot of different outs we have here. Um, but definitely like we need to grab two Decidueyes because we only have one in the active and that's going to be it. Uh, so, yep, DC and two Decidueyes will come down, okay, and a pass on the Caleb's turn. Now, Caleb does find a Wobbuffet. Oh, that, that Wobbuffet makes all the difference in the world. It does. It, it really does. Oh, because I can take down Mega Mewtwo pretty easily. Like, we see how that's done. Like, we, we've got that game. It's when they include Wobbuffets in their deck, which makes it totally different. Uh, Wobbuffet will come down. We will see a, uh, maybe, maybe just a Mega Evolve. Lysander, bring up a Vile Plume, unfortunately, and Mega Evolve on our turn, all right? So my turn, I'm going to draw a card. Uh, can't play Flowstone. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, DC to the Dartrex. We do have uh, Feather to the Bench, Wobbuffet. And uh, what am I doing? We don't have two Decidueyes out. I take that away immediately. <laughs> oh, I just have the Decidueyes in my hand. I'm just wishing I can double Feather out. So pass it on my turn, okay? And uh, now I think what we do here is we need a fe nope, don't feather that wild fit. Why? Okay, we definitely should have just feather arrow the bench Mega Mewtwo. So it's like energy active. We'll see a retreat onto. Oh no, ass is pretty for ten, right? So there we go, feather. We should have feather the Mewtwo last turn. That's where the damage needs to go. Um, we only need to feather the wild fit once, plus originally for knockout. Okay, Caleb. You know he doesn't have too much either. He's got another wild fit he could put down and. I'll uh, see another pass under my turn. Oh no, sorry, Acid Spray, sorry. Hey, he's supposed to be flipping coins here. Come on, you have to flip coins no matter what. Alright, so on to uh, Caleb's turn, I'm gonna draw a card. He does find a Psychic Energy, he can put that retreat to Wobbuffet, and uh, party time, he can use all of his abilities. <laughs> Alright, he can shut down our abilities, sorry. So, Flowstone, Mega Turbo to that Mewtwo, and we are in trouble, guys. We are in trouble, for sure. So, 
<sighs> we'll see a Ultra Ball. Discard two cards from his hand. We'll grab a Garbodor and a home. Oh, no. Oh, no. A Garbodor. Fantastic. Great. Now, um, what we should have, like, realistically done is put all that damage on Shrubbish, and we would have knocked it out this turn, uh, for sure, because, like, there's four, or five, six, there's 80 damage on the field, so we would have knocked out that Shrubbish. Don't know why we didn't do that. We should have just put the pressure all on Shrubbish, because that is the big monster here, um, for sure. So we see Mega Turbo. Go put another Psychic Energy on that Mega Mewtwo. He is, he has a ton of energy right now, and we'll see a pass on my turn, okay? Uh, Flow to the active. Love ball gonna look through our deck. Uh, gonna grab a Dartrex, okay. Uh, but no force job plan, so we can't get down another Decidueye as of right now. Uh, Revitalizer. Oh, whoa, 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 what am I doing there? All right, we're good. <laughs> All right, get rid of Dartrex. All right, Dartrex and Decidueye. We'll put down another Decidueye, okay. I mean, we've got three Decidueyes coming down next turn, uh, but that doesn't really do too much. And uh, what do we do here? I mean, we could treat and Feather. Oh, there's a Flowstone to the. I mean, we could treat and Rage Leaf. But, like, where does that get us? I don't know. Uh, flip them to the Dark Tricks. And if we have an energy, I don't think we have Tash yet. Um, we could use Sharp Blade Quills. Put 20 damage onto somebody, like on the Mewtwo or something. That could be really cute. Um, we'll see what happens. What do we start doing here? And there's an the end. Got to shove both players' hands and deck gets, uh, we're going to get four. Caleb's going to get four as well. If we find an energy, I think we might go for a Sharp Blade Quills and start putting some damage some pressure on that Mewtwo EX. I think that's what we're going to do here. If I remember correctly. So we'll get four cards. And we find a DCE. So we'll be able to put it on that guy. We'll be able to retreat and start using a sharp blade quill. Let's put a 20 on that Mewtwo. Alright. So on a Caleb's turn. He has a DCE. So he can retreat and psych if anything for a billion damage. And uh, that's a waste of DCE. Guys. That's what you that's what you see there. So DC to the active most likely. We'll see a retreat. And we'll see a psych if anything for the knockout. And we are going to be in big trouble now. I mean, DCT active, retreat, we'll see a Psyche Infinity, do like 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, do 190. Uh, nope, gonna license or Decidueye and uh, take a knock on it. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, do 220, we actually don't get knocked out here, which is great. Because uh, now we can Feather, or we can Razor Leaf for 90, do 130 to that Mewtwo, or bring the Mewtwo up to 130. And then next turn, if we find another Razor Leaf, we can take a, I mean, we can take a knockout. So let's see, what do we do here? Um... We got to end, shove both players' cards. Caleb will find four. I'll find four as well. And do we find a Grass Energy? If we do, we could have the potential of doing a double Rage Leaf to knock out this only Mewtwo on Caleb's side of the field. And let's see what happens. Going to put a Grass Energy on that decision line. And we'll be able to Rage Leaf for 190, bringing it to 130. And next turn, we can knock out this Mewtwo. E oh, 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 struggle. There we go. I had to use my muscles there, guys. I had to flex on camera. Uh, 130 damage. And let's see what Caleb does do here. He's got a Via Seeker. He could license it up a Shaman, right? Um, oh, he didn't drop a turn. All right, so Via Seeker. Oh, trade as well. Okay. Gonna look at the top of cards of the deck. Gonna grab a Via Seeker. Look at me being nice. Did you draw a card? Don't think you did. And he drew one. I mean, he didn't have one. Uh, so Via Seeker for Lysander. Puts down Shrine of Memories and he'll damage change. Knocking out a Shaman EX. Oh, no. Oh no, guys, we're in trouble. How do we win this game now? I mean, he just damage change, kill that damage off the Decidueye. And guys, we're in trouble. There's a forest giant plants go down. Three, six, nine, 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 nine. Um, <laughs> uh, Pokemon, help me. Oh, goodness. He's got another VS Seeker in hand, so like, I don't think we can win this, guys. Like, like I don't know how we can win this now. Hmm. We are in trouble, guys. We are definitely in trouble. Like, our only way to win right now is to license the Garboder, put down Beedrill, double Scrapper, and uh, be good to go that way. But I do not think we have that in our hand. Because if we didn't have that in hand, we would have slapped it down like a billion turns ago. And, um, hmm. Let's see, what do we do here? What? Do, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's no way we can win. Just trying to think, what, what should we do? What should we do? Uh, you can see I'm trying to figure out everything. We could retreat to a Vile Plume and uh, nope, just gonna raise leave. If he finds an energy, he'll be able to take a knockout. There's a VS Seeker for a Lysander. Bring in the Decidueye with the billion damage and tank the game. And there we go, guys. We did get 2 0'd pretty bad. And like I said, Mega Mewtwo is not that hard of a matchup. It's when, oh, Beedrill is a bottom of deck, so there's no way I was finding that guy. But like I said earlier, Mega Mewtwo is not that hard of a match. 
It's when they include uh, Bob, Bob Fitz in the deck, it makes it really hard. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day already. Bye. Oh, guys, hold on, hold on. So, uh, first of all, I'm gonna give a sh huge shout out to TNLG. After this, I did have to, I did have to leave. Um, it's currently like nine o'clock right now, and I have a three-hour drive home. Had to work in the morning, so I do not, I'm not, not able to record top top four for my stream. But TNLG continues to record, and we'll have two more games uh, featuring top four in the finals of the Madison League Cup. So big shout out to them. Without them, we would not have this footage at all. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day already. Bye. All right, guys. I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.